Democrats have a huge problem when it comes to crime and anti-police defund rhetoric. And this next story is not going to help. A key Senate race down in Florida is pitting Congresswoman and former police officer Val Demings, police chief, I should say, Val Demings, against Republican Senator Marco Rubio. But Demings might want to rethink this tone-deaf joke. You know, after 27 years as a law enforcement officer, there's no doubt that's a tough job, that's a hard job, no doubt about it, but uh, being in elected office, that's a whole other level, y'all. Oh, maybe it was a lame uh, attempt at humor, not likely to be funny to cops across this country who are besieged. They find themselves under attack. More than 250 cops shot so far this year in the line of duty. Morale in the toilet. Department severely understaffed. Many... Inner city departments having problems finding new cops. But, Judge, you can't really believe that she hates cops. She is the police. She says she's the police. She was police chief, uh, you know, the family of law enforcement. You know, the uh, uh, last I recall, I, I can't think of any members of Congress who've been killed in the line of duty. True, true. And I don't believe that this is something to make a joke about. You know, I mean, I think putting on that badge and that uniform every day is the toughest job you can have, especially saying goodbye to your wife, your husband, whatever it is. And so shame on her. That's not funny. Um, but I think also that the fact that she votes with Nancy Pelosi... 100 percent of the time, 100 percent of the time, tells me that she's not into the law enforcement issues that we would hope she is based upon, you know, her CV, based upon the fact that she was a police chief. And in the end, I think she's as clueless as everyone else is about defunding the police and wokeness and all that nonsense. And I just don't think it's anything to joke about. But, but you know, nationwide, I don't know if anybody realizes this, apparently 45 percent of police nationwide are retiring. Yeah. Uh, 18 percent are resigning. Uh, that's huge. That means that they've been so demoralized, not by the but right, you're put but all by that the on left. This one congresswoman. Yeah, yeah. Running you make for a, yeah, you make a joke about law enforcement, and you vote with Nancy Pelosi 100 percent of the time. You're part of that gang. I think she should be immune from criticism. She's done a lifetime of law enforcement. Her husband, Jerry, sheriff of Orange County, Florida. I mean, my goodness. The only job harder than being a police officer is being judge. She needs assistant. <laughs> That's not funny. Or your accountant. <laughs> or your doctor, Greg. <laughs> That's I'll true. leave you out of this, Dana. Okay, thank you. <laughs> but she has her main competitive advantage, Geraldo, is that she's a former cop. Right. And she goes out there and insults cops. That's really, really ah, stupid. Talking about yeah, but you know what? Chicken. In politics, that's going to be exploited and then shoved down Remember her face. Remember Romney's fourteen? Or what was it? Forty-seven. Forty-seven percent. Yeah. Right. So, I keep hearing all about candidate quality on the Republican side. Remember how we couldn't stop hearing about all these guys that were supposed to be easily beatable wing nuts. You know, Walker, Walker and Oz, Oz and yeah. Masters and all these crazy guys that were going to go up in flames. And They're all tied her ahead right now, Geraldo. And all the wing nuts are on the left. Look at the guy in Wisconsin. He loves Jeremiah Wright, loves the funding police. Stacey Abrams is getting smoked. Oh, yeah. Val just shot herself in the foot. What's the woman in Katie Hobbs in Arizona? She's, like, running scared of Lake. Lake, who they tried to boost because they thought she was an election denier, is about to win the election. Mm -hmm. That's just really you, stupid. You've... you've adroitly changed the topic, Dana. I have. <laughs> do you really believe Val Demings is anti-cop? I, I do not believe she is, but I do say that, like, if she's right that politics is not beanbag. And you look at anybody who makes a gaffe like that in the last two weeks, what happens? The other side will drive it home. And yeah. that happens, it happened to Romney in particular. That's the one that first came to mind. Uh, Obama, when he said, you didn't build that, well, the, okay, well, let's go. Like, that was, the, that was the line. So she's been a very interesting candidate. One of the things about her is that she was recruited because she is, uh, had her law enforcement background. And the first female and, ever to hold the job. Exactly. And so, so that was interesting, right? But what does she need to do as a candidate? She has to raise money from Act Blue, which is their small dollar do donors. And those donors are basically the ones that agree with the far left. So you remember Mrs. Doubtfire, where sure. you basically have somebody who's trying to live two lives, and, and you're desperately making sure that, no, that they, nobody ever catches you out because the two sides can't stand each other, that they, they can't intersect? That's sort of what's happening here. But she got 
caught in this and she's going to have to deal with it. Um, oh, it's also been example. interesting. Do you, do you not like it? This is dumb. <laughs> this is dumb. Fire. I'm trying like to picture it? Robin Williams. Gorgeous. It's more like if you have a terrible sex life. <laughs> oh, I should try. I mean, I didn't ask permission to make an analogy. I thought it was a good comparison. It was funny. I thought it was good. Um, yeah. Good. But the other, the other thing I want to point out is the media has been trying to say that defund the police never actually happened, that it's just something that Fox News came up with, that the far right has come up with. But there are 20 cities that actually reduce our police budgets in response to the defund the police movement, and it's had real-life impact, and that's why you see people say crime is uh, at an all-time high, and they're connecting the dots to the Democrats. One thing I noted uh, of interest, Greg, was how the majority of law enforcement, uh, particularly sheriffs, uh, are opposed to Valdemics. But that's because law enforcement, I've done a lot of work with cops in Florida, is so charged politically. They are politicians. Well, the, it is, they are part of the political process. She's not, she, again, it goes back to the A block. She's not the problem. The party is, as you pointed out, this is, we're dealing with long term consequences of a George Floyd caused Ferguson effect. And it's hard to expect the Democrats to fix it when they led the charge. And that's the problem. She's a cop. She was probably a good cop. She seems like a good person, but her party sucks. And the Dems are so scared of an anti-crime platform. When you point, I think you pointed out that the voting public loves anti-crime platforms. I think you said, but so they're scared of something else. And that is the activists. They are captured by the activists. They, they're allowing an agenda that says that like any kind of law enforcement enforcement is, is, is evidence of systemic racism. Any kind of activity to, 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 to tamp down crime is against a black person. And that is inherently racist because blacks want the crime out of their neighborhoods too. I agree absolutely with that. And maybe this will be a sea shift. Maybe Democrats will become more sensitive to their constituents' fear of being pushed onto the subway. And I also hope that Obama stops eating dogs. <laughs>